It's time for one of the Minecraft Bingo Weekly Challenges. This is Seed 1003, where we're playing for the most points in 25 minutes. I've been looking at this card. It's got a lot of iron. I think there's 27 iron needed to build everything. If you go that route, uh, as well as some golden things. Uh, a number of things from the surface, though, so we'll stick to the surface kind of stuff. Make sure that we get plenty of sugarcane, kill some cows, things like that. And yeah, I don't know how much other planning we can do. And I don't remember right now what the spawn point for this area looked like. There's only one of the jungle items on here, if I remember correctly. Let's take one more look at the map. Yeah, there's cookies, but there is no watermelon. So we don't have to go hunting for that. Uh, a fish I'll try to get from the surface, and a cactus could be an easy thing from the surface. We'll be looking for brown mushrooms, but not red ones, because there's no mushroom stew. Right, this one did have a jungle that was visible off in the distance, I think. And let's see, Mega Taiga, there'll be plenty of spruce around. Um, right, and with the jungle, yeah, the jungle's over that way, kind of past the Mega Taiga there, it looks like. But there's also Mega Taiga there, but there are also some cows right there. <laughs> Start go! And we could even potentially get an apple and, like, craft our own golden apple if we find some gold downstairs. Because golden apple... Gold actually comes pretty frequently if you go down deep uh, when caving. Although we do also need a clock, and a clock would be an easier thing to get with gold. I don't know. There's a lot of considerations that come into play with this. I'll go ahead and get a fair bit of wood, and we have some stone right here. And so, just wanted to peek around and see if I saw any coal as well. I do not. And we've obviously got the cows right there. But I'll make some initial tools. All right, tools get. And that is not clay right there. All right, we need at least two pieces of leather. And I see a squid right here, which is good, because we actually need the book and quill, which means we're going to need to find chicken later as well. Uh, but let's just double check. Yes, I got the squid ink, and I've got plenty of whatever already. Uh, I don't remember seeing a rabbit hide on this card, so I don't need to worry about the rabbits. Uh, and I think the jungle was this way. I'm not sure that the dark oak was necessarily this way. Um, and let's see. Right, there was more taiga between here and there as well. And so I might be able to... Yeah, we should be able to get a spruce sapling from this tree. And here's brown mushroom uh, that we just need the one of. And I think I just got the sapling. Uh, and so I guess I won't worry about chopping down this tree. And instead, we will continue over to the jungle. We'll try to get the jungly thingy. I should keep my eyes out for chickens. And if we get a little bit of iron, we could get the vine. But then I want to continue on and find a desert uh, somewhere, which I don't remember seeing anywhere. Uh, visible. And okay, I see plenty of cocoa beans over here. So we'll grab some of those, we'll be able to make cookies later. And it looks like there might be actually some dry some dry grass over here that suggests that there might be some desert over here, or savanna or something. Let's take a look. Uh, there is savanna, I don't know if there's desert. I see watermelon, but I don't need them. A flint, I think, was on this card. So while I happen to see this here, we'll dig up some gravel. Hope that we get lucky, we did not. Uh, I can always dig up more gravel later. Oh, there's one, great. And let's see, it looks like there might actually be some desert over here, and it looks not too far. And so I'll just run through the jungle rather than making a boat. I can't tell, that might just be a beach. Uh, we still need to find, so I want the desert for the cactus. We still need to find some chickens above ground. And we still need to find clay. Uh, although there's probably better places to find it. Does this actually go anywhere? It looks like it might. Uh, no, it doesn't. I see a lot of people make the mistake of trying to find uh, iron above sea level. There's hardly any iron above sea level. If your cave starts in the side of mountainside and you go looking for iron and the cave doesn't dip down, you're unlikely to find what you were looking for. So that's, that's Brian's tip of the day. <laughs> Look for iron in the correct locations. All right, still not seeing the desert over there. What else do we need to get from the surface? Uh, pumpkin, we should always keep an eye out for. Uh, it's a good thing. I think I might've just seen a pumpkin too. Maybe I'm making it up? Oh, I think it was the uh, the bush, the dead bush. 
uh, that I saw that has kind of an orange tint to it. Um, okay, I saw the lake. I thought it might be a little cave. That cave looks like it's going horizontally. This cave does not go anywhere. And so I'm trying to decide how much time I want to spend continuing to look for the desert versus doing other things. Um, it would not hurt while I'm thinking of it. Well, let me wait until I see a swamp in case I do try to get the apple that way. I was going to say to get a little bit more wood and food when the food is kind of just right in front of your feet. This is not bad to kill either. Um, does this go anywhere that might give me some easy iron at the beginning? No, it's not going down. And let's see, looking at the card, I should probably update the card in just a moment. Let's just get up a little bit higher and see if we can see any desert. Oh, sugarcane, sugarcane is something I need and I just saw some over there. Uh, and I don't see any signs of desert over that way. So let's go back over here. I see some sugarcane in this direction. And we're still looking for the chickens as well. Pick up a couple more pieces of food while it's running below our feet. And so I'm going to grab, I think I need four pieces of sugarcane, three for the book and one for the uh, sugar for the fermented spider eye, which means I'm going to need to kill spiders. And so yeah, getting downstairs could definitely be a good thing. Let's go ahead and just grab all the sugar cane. And some kind of cave. Yeah, it looks like it. So I think we'll start heading down here. Uh, do I have any things to cook? Yes, I do. I can cook up food. So let's get some food started. And let's also make some torches so that I have initial torches. And then let's mine some more coal. Because I like to keep things well lit so that you can see them, and more importantly, so that I can see them as we go caving. Some people stick, skip this step because they have bright monitors or high gamma or whatever. Um, to each their own. And yeah, I find that getting a lot of coal is usually a good thing, actually, uh, in these 25 minute challenges because. There's a lot of things I'll need to smelt, and I'm going to do, especially in this one, a fair bit of caving, I expect, because uh, there's a number of underground things that I would like to get. And let's see. Let's also go ahead and turn this into sugar. Oops. Like so. And, uh, yeah, that'll be good enough for now. We'll go ahead and get some food. And I thought sugar was on the card. Did I accidentally make two pieces of sugar? Sugar's not on the card. I need it as an ingredient for the spider eye. Right, so we've hardly gotten anything yet. Does this cave go anywhere? I think it doesn't, actually. Uh, I feel like this cave's about to end. Yep. Should have trusted my instincts and not even bothered coming down here. All right, that's okay. And picking up a torch. Really not that big of a savings. I got plenty of coal at this point. So we still need to find chickens from the surface. Uh, we still have the opportunity to uh, possibly find a desert in another direction. And apart from that, any other surface things that I need? Um, obviously, I need to cook up a bunch more things. I've got plenty of food right now. Don't think I have heard any chickens. Saw those little flowers, and I thought that they were chickens for a minute. They were small and white. And yeah, at the same time, let's start keeping... Oh, I need to get clay. That's another thing from the surface, now that I see this river. Here we go. Uh, no, there's clay right there. And I don't have blocks in the bar, which is not the smartest thing ever. So let's go ahead and correct that uh, while I'm thinking of it. Even just gravel uh, is good. And let's see. So I have a bunch of things I need to cook up. I need to cook up the clay. I need to cook up the sand to make the glass bottles, assuming we don't run into a witch super quick. And any other signs of deserty stuff? It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, so I really just need to find a cave to to delve down into, I believe. And let's see, at this point, I think I have enough food uh, cooked and raw that I'll be able to kind of run and sprint all I like. Oh, I hear spider. Sounds like there's perhaps a dungeon here. Yes. And okay, so it's right here. Let's get some sunlight into it. Like so, and then it will be especially easy to take on. It is a spider dungeon, so we should be able to get the spider eye, uh, which is great, because that could be one of the more difficult items, because there's somewhat rare drops from spiders. Oh, it's a double dungeon. Uh, let's make sure we stay alive. 
which will involve setting down some torches after I kill this spider. Okay, there's a torch. And there's a torch. Alright, the torches... Oh, crap. Let's... Also heal some. The torches will help pacify the spiders. And hopefully we'll get some good iron or some other good loot crap. Alright, I really need to kill these spiders to get this lit up. Okay, and we did get the spider eye, uh, which is great. And some other things that we need. I can go fishing. Um, I think a name tag might have been on here. I guess not. It was a saddle, right. Um, there's our saddle. I don't remember if an enchanted book was on this or not. Apparently it was not. Uh, some more food. I don't need that. I might need that. Uh, Alright, we got some gunpowder. This is great. And I know now that I can craft the sugar and this and this into the fermented spider eye. And let me set down this really quick. And go ahead and cook up the clay into the brick. Uh, I'm going to drop off some things I don't need. I will need a couple pieces of redstone. Um, I can also go ahead and craft uh, the book at this point and then get rid of the extra sugar because I won't need any more of this. Um, all right. And so we can get rid of that. I'm actually going to craft myself some pants, even though they're pretty much worthless, <laughs> just because I'm in the mood. Um, did we not get any uh, wheat from any of that? That's unfortunate. Uh, I've got a couple pieces of bread that I uh, might need to eat. Let me just double check that I didn't miss wheat in here, because um, I'll feel silly if I did. But no, it looks like I did not. Uh, we got this, and I will go ahead and cook this up as well. We can craft the fishing rod, because I'm pretty sure there's a fish. Uh, it is getting dark outside, so let's be aware of that. And now would be a good time to update the map again. All right, uh, and we're about to get the glass bottles. Uh, and I can, I, with the tiny bit of iron that I have, I might as well get the, what do you call, from the surface. And so we'll plan to get that. I could actually use some more wood. I'm going to kind of change things up over here. And let's go ahead and make some more torches. Like so. Uh, let's grab my glass bottles. And then drop off some things that I don't need once again. I don't need all that string. Okay, and then I think we're in pretty good shape. It would have been a better idea to cook up a little bit more food there probably, but we'll live. Okay, and we can just get out of here. And assuming we don't get immediately creepered, uh, we can at least go fishing. And, hey, here's a skeleton. I'm pretty sure Bone was on the card. And this is reasonably shallow water. So hopefully I won't get... Oh, good. This guy somehow, like, didn't detect me or something. Great. I'll take it. I feel like I kind of cheesed it on that skeleton a little bit because he didn't shoot at me. And then we'll continue looking for the desert above ground. We'll manage to kill... Actually, do I need to kill anything else? Possibly an Enderman. I don't remember if an Ender Pearl was on the card right now. And we definitely want to get the vine while we're still upstairs. And yeah, still looking for the cactus. And then, yeah, looking for a cave that's actually going to go down deep because we need to get a ton of iron. And I said I was going to chop down some more trees, and so we need to do that. Here comes a fish. Great. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw that down. I should have gone ahead and crossed back over here because I was planning to go in this direction. And let's get the map back out really quick because uh, I just want to take a look. Uh, since I just crafted a few more items. The pumpkin is another thing that we can continue to keep an eye out for. I'm never going to use a bow. Uh, I'm not going to use that at this point. And I don't need that extra piece of glass. Okay, great. I had some arrows I could have thrown out too, but oh well. Oh, and did I see... Is there an ender pearl on this card? There is an ender pearl on this card. So if we see an enderman, we want to kill him. And apart from that... Yeah, looking for a pumpkin. And... Uh, that cave's not really going down anywhere useful, I don't think. A pumpkin and a desert. Uh, and an enderman. And if we see a cave that goes down deep, then we should probably choose to do it at this point. Uh, because I really need to get my hands on some iron. Since I have so little... Oh, and I still need the vine, too. Right, so we need to go back through another biome that has vines. I've already crossed through a few of those. Uh, but let's make sure that we do that. And I actually am at the point in just a minute where I should go ahead and eat these two pieces of bread and get my get my better food back in the bar. Crap. Uh, this is not where I want to be. Let's just make sure that we're out of bow shot of these skeletons. Okay, I think now I am before I start to eat. 
And yeah, let's get back on the land where we can go a bit faster. And before I forget, let's go ahead and grab some more wood. And I wonder if I should make a boat to sail around because I don't see any of the biomes I'm looking for coming up right ahead. And so I think I will actually do that. Not sure if that's a smart thing to do or not. Here's a zombie sneaking up. Or he might be actually underground. Nope, he's sneaking up. Too late, zombie. You weren't fast enough. So we're looking again for vines, for pumpkins, for a desert, and for an enderman. I saw something orange up here, but I think it was lava. Uh, I don't see desert there. Oh, no, it's not lava. That is a pumpkin, isn't it? All right. Great. So the boat's eye view helped us find the pumpkin. And there's some extreme hills over there, so we could go try to cave down there and try to find an emerald. That's another possibility as well. Uh, but let's get over to this pumpkin <laughs> on the hillside, calling out to us. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a black bunny. <laughs> that was scary looking. Uh, and let's see. Let's get away from the spider before we turn the pumpkin into pumpkin seeds. And over here, I think I saw a vine. Oh, chicken. Hey, I forgot about the fact that I need you guys. Yeah, feather. Um, great. And yeah, I do see vines over here. Um, and it also looks like there might be a cave there. Let's go grab the vines first. And actually, while I'm in the water right now, I'm going to turn this into pumpkin seeds. And I'm going to go grab the vines. I need to get my food back on the bar, so let's do that too. And let's actually be eating. Because I foresee this creeper giving me a bad time here. I'm not particularly good at fighting creepers, as you may have noticed. If you've watched me play any more bingo, getting the gunpowder uh, that way is not my not my strong suit. All right, uh, so we got that, um, and I think I saw a cave back over this way. And since I don't see a desert anywhere else around, and I don't see an Enderman on the surface, then I think we got basically everything we want from the surface. And so if there's a cave down here, uh, then I want to take it. Uh, I'm not going to bother collecting leaves, so we'll get rid of that. And I believe I can craft the book and quill now, so let's go ahead and do that really quick before I forget, and that'll also free up inventory slots. Uh, because now I can drop those things on the ground. Great. And I just accidentally learned a new technique for dropping multiple things on the ground, uh, which is to put them in your crafting square, and then close your inventory. Uh, and so that could be <laughs> a new quick way to clean up your inventory, maybe. <laughs> I might... I don't know that I'll remember to do that ever again. <laughs> All right, this is going back up. Up is not the direction we want to go. We want to go down, and I actually also need to craft some more torches, torches, torches. Um, let's leave a few things for smelting, uh, but we can make lots of torches, and let's make sure we have some blocks on the bar uh, and keep the map on the bar in case I'm needing to look at it. All right, but this is, seems to be going downwards. Um, we need to find gold and redstone. I don't think Lapis was on this one anywhere. I'm going to start a little bit higher up, just because I do still need tons of iron. And there's no iron in this cave, apparently. Oh, here's a dungeon. Let's get it lit up before it spawns more zombies. Alright, and... Right, I already have the redstone. That's right. Here's my wheat, so I can get the cookie. Uh, so let's go ahead and craft that right now before I forget. Uh... And we'll craft a couple of them just in case I end up running out of food somewhere along the line. I don't think I'm likely to do that. And there's a bucket, which I don't think I need. Yeah, I don't think I need any of this at this point. I got everything out of here, okay? And just in case this is spawning guys through walls somewhere uh, that I don't want to happen, we'll do that. Uh, still looking for more iron. Ah, iron. Look at that. Iron ore for the first time. And I'm already, gosh, 1,100 seconds. Oh my gosh, I'm so far behind on the iron. I'm going to need to make another furnace, too. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some of this iron cooking in one furnace while I mine up the rest of it. Uh, like so. And I hear a zombie, but I'm not sure where he is right now. And then we're going to have to also pick and choose which of the iron objects. Oh crap! Uh, he's above me, okay. Uh, that's fine. We have to choose, pick and choose which iron objects we actually uh, end up crafting, uh, given our limited iron source, is my guess. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make another furnace so we can get smelting twice as quickly in the future. And it looks like I may need another stone sword. Uh, I see lots of people craft iron swords. I always feel like that is the, I don't know, the biggest mistake you could make in this game. That's too, that's too strong, but 
Uh, iron sword, I feel like, is a completely worthless item. It's just like throwing away your iron, in my opinion. Um, but, I don't know. I see Burgasms do that a lot. Burgasms is uh, by far the best player so far uh, in these Minecraft Bingo Seated Challenges with consistently good scores each week. And so, uh, perhaps different players have different strengths and strategies. Uh, all right, there's some gold. So we'll be able to make the compass after we kill a few of these guys. Creepers were helping us out a little bit there. Wouldn't mind if he helped us out more. There we go. I need to eat some food. I will do it in a moment. First off, let's kill off the skeleton. Alright, next let's eat the food. Uh, I need an iron pick. I can't believe I forgot about that, but I guess it's because I haven't had any iron. Oh, there's an emerald up here. Uh, that's super terrific. Um, I don't want to get hit. Crap, I hear a zombie over here. He can't get to me through the lava. Um, wrong thing. Iron pick. Inventory, of course, never works the way you want. Fix your game, Microsoft. Okay, iron pick will also help us mine the iron faster. And I am going to get the furnaces out because I am going to need to smelt more stuff, and so I'll just set them down here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the emerald. That was just super lucky because I didn't even notice that we were in that biome. Uh, I think I do have some more iron ore that could already start to smelt as I go mine up the gold. And I need at least four of it for the uh, thingy do. All right, and there is more iron there, but let's go ahead and get this started cooking. Uh, four gold for the thingy do. Yes. Uh, what is the thing you do called? Not a compass. Clock! The clock. The clock is the thing that I was trying to think of, which I believe is on this card. Hopefully I'm not misremembering that now. I think the clock was there. I think I remember looking at the card at the beginning and thinking it's going to need two redstone because I even set aside two redstone. Uh, so let's hope that that's correct. Uh, I'm going to need some more coal right there to cook up the rest of that. And we got some more iron going here. How's my time? 1280. Uh, so we still have a fair amount of time. Okay, so we've got some more coal. So we'll be able to keep everything cooking. Great. Um, is this done yet? It is just about done, and so we'll move that in there. We will put another piece of coal in here. And so long as no one's about to kill me right now, I will do that. And grab some of this. Let's double check that there is a compass. There is a compass. And so I will do that. All right, and we're already up to a reasonable number of points now that I'm not going to be completely embarrassed. Uh, I need rails, yes, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, and I'm actually running a little bit low on wood uh, to make like the uh, hopper or something like that. Uh, but I think it's time to pack up shop and see if we can find some other stuff further down below. Uh, and so we'll do that. Uh, this is actually still cooking. Is there anything else? Let me take a look at the card and make sure I'm not forgetting things. I never made the item frame, and I threw away. I turned the leather into pants. Okay, so that was foolish. Uh, you probably laughed at me earlier. Uh, so that was basically an item that I threw away. And I need to find more iron uh, for a number of different things. And so we'll go look for that. This is going back up, but up is okay. We're down deep enough that we'll find more iron. Okay, and here it is. And so I should get the furnace back out because we are running low on time here. Furnaces, fern eye. Although, right, I've only got one piece of coal right now. So I need to find some more coal. I have enough wood that I could do some smelting with wood, so I should do that probably and get these smelting in parallel. Uh, so let's do that. Um, I know I need the chest uh, for the... What do you call? And I could have picked up the chest earlier. That's another mistake that I made. Uh, but let's go ahead and make a... Uh, this guy can't seem to aim at me. Oh, nope, he can. Uh, there's a simple solution to this. That is it. Uh, all right, and so I was trying to make the hopper. There we go. Yeah, I also see a lot of people have a tendency to fight enemies uh, when simply not fighting and simply avoiding the enemies would be a smarter thing to do. Uh, so there's another random tip, perhaps. Uh, a cauldron is another thing we could make of iron. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we're running low, really low on time here. Uh, Minecart is another thing that's made of iron that somehow I still don't have, and I need to cook more things. Uh, and then I'll be able to get the minecart because then I will have one, two, three, four, five. Yes, and so let's move some of this here. 
uh, even if we need to use sticks to cook it. I think that's going to be our last item because I think we're running out of time. Is there anything else I could possibly get? We didn't get the cactus. Uh, I did just get that. I'm not going to be able to get that. We could find an enderman, possibly, is the only other uh, reasonably uh, not completely unlikely thing that might happen here. So we're going to build the minecart, and then we're just going to go enderman hunting. And hope for the best. Uh, so I'm just going to leave all that stuff behind. And we are going to run around like a madman and see if in the next 20 seconds we can spot an enderman somewhere uh, who wants to die to our sword or a creeper or whatever that might cause him to drop his pearl. And who knows, maybe I'll somehow get lucky and find a diamond down here. I don't think I'm down deep enough for that to actually happen, so... Thank you. And Brian scored 20 in 25 minutes. All right, well, honestly, that was better than I thought I was going to do on this card. I thought that this card was reasonably difficult. Uh, and I did make one crucial mistake with the item frame and the leather. Uh, and so I could have had a score of 21 pretty easily, I think, uh, if I had just planned that out a little bit better. Um, yeah, so we already saw that my score was 20. I just happened to see that there's a dungeon right here. Oh, it's the same dungeon that I already looted earlier. So I kind of came around in a circle. All right, well, that is fine. Uh, you'll notice now in version 2.5 of Minecraft Bingo that uh, if you want to tweet about it, maybe I should do that. Let's do this. Um, I don't know if that's going to open up a window that's going to interfere with uh, with uh, the recording, and so actually I won't do that right now. Um, but you will notice that in the chat, it kind of gives you a transcript of when you, when you got all the items, like how many seconds in. Uh, so if you want to like see how quickly you're progressing, uh, it would be really cool if there was a way to like have Minecraft then like upload this to a database or whatever and like put it on the scoreboards in Minecraft Bingo and like plot everybody's items over time or something, I feel like. All right, I didn't see any, we, we did a lot of searching on the surface. I didn't see any desert, so I don't feel about, bad about missing that item. Enderman is kind of touch and go. We got lucky with the emerald, uh, but I got foolish with the item frame. I think I got 20. I could see people getting 22 on this card is my guess for what the high scores are going to be on this card this week. Uh, in any case, I look forward to seeing all of y'all's scores. And I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with more Minecraft Bingo. Woohoo! Version 2.5. Minecraft 1.8.1. Hooray! Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.